All right, so we're going to talk about living in Henderson, Nevada. This is part one addressing our public school system. And so if you're thinking about uh, moving out here into Henderson, Nevada, you've probably done some research and found that Clark County is not one of the best ranked school districts in the entire uh, country. As a matter of fact, we're one of the worst. Yet there are a couple of schools that actually rank really, really well. And even they rank above a lot of private schools in the state. And so if you want to know these schools, definitely watch the entire video to make sure you're getting the most value that we can provide for you. Now, in case you don't know who I am, I'm a local Las Vegas born and raised uh, real estate broker who helps people invest in real estate and find great homes out here in Clark County. And I host the House Hacker Tribe where I make real estate work for you. So one of those things that we can do by making real estate work for you is by choosing a good neighborhood that's going to fit your educational needs for your family and for the students in your family. And I want to address basic high school first. It's on the eastern side of Henderson. This is some of the oldest neighborhoods. It's near downtown Henderson. And it is one of the lower performing schools. And I think because there's a lot of competition, I don't think it's just an inherently bad neighborhood or a bad school. So you've got the College of Southern Nevada right next to it which allows students to get uh, college credit and high school credit at the same time. So if you're 16 years old and you want to leave high school and go into college, they allow you to do that. And so when you graduate with your diploma, you also have an associate's degree, which I think takes a lot of the top performing kids out of basic and puts them into this program. And so that's something that you need to consider is that if you want to have access to that program and you don't want to live very far away from the College of Southern Nevada, your kid might be zoned for basic. Now, BASIC does not rank within the top 50 schools. It has a C plus uh, rating, and it's in a neighborhood that has a median income of 61000 a year, which is about average for the state of Nevada. So you're not living in a total uh, you know, bad neighborhood, but you're not also living in a great neighborhood. So it's a mediocre neighborhood, and so why would you expect anything other than mediocre results for a school that has a lot of competition with it? So if... If that's something that's not going to be interesting to you because you're going to be wanting something with a little bit more school pride, but you're still on a budget, I think you should consider living in Northern Henderson. So Northern Henderson is going to be like the Whitney Ranch area and Northern Green Valley area where we find Green Valley High School. It is ranked second on our list and it is ranked 19th in the entire state of Nevada. So this is pretty competitive. It's not bad. Uh, probably the best bang for your buck neighborhood because the median income is only around 73000 a year, which means real estate prices aren't going to be incredibly high uh, compared to some of the other school districts or, or neighborhoods that we're going to talk about, uh, like school zonings. But it is going to be zoned for a fairly good school. I mean, we're talking about a really high-ranked school. It ranks at an A- minus on niche.com. So it is definitely a solid option. Now, there are better ones on this list, and we're going to talk about some of the more expensive neighborhoods down in southern, Nevada, uh, southern Henderson. Now, when we're talking about Henderson, Nevada, the southern part of it is mainly going to be like your Seven Hills, your Anthem, your South Crane Valley neighborhoods. And you're going to be talking about two main schools here, Liberty High School and Coronado High School. Now, Liberty is the worst ranking uh, between the two. It is ranked at a B, ranked 49th in the state, which isn't bad, but not great either. Um, and we already talked. So if we haven't talked about the median income, the median income is $89,000 a year. So the real estate is going to be a lot more expensive in the southern part of Henderson than it is going to be in the northern and eastern parts of Henderson. However, I don't want that to, to, to deter you. And I don't think that Liberty High School is a bad high school. I think when we talked about basic high school, we had to address competition. And the competition for Liberty High School is Coronado. Coronado is that school that really is a head above the rest. If you talk to local teachers out here, uh, you talk to people who have either been a Coronado teacher that have moved to other schools, they will tell you, yeah, Coronado is different than the school that I work at currently. If you talk to teachers that work at Coronado that have worked at other schools, they're going to say, yeah, Coronado is a little bit different. It ranks 14th in the entire state of Nevada, which we said that uh, Green Valley ranked at 19th, which is fantastic. But 14th, when we're talking about all the public schools and all the private schools in the entire state, I mean, that is saying something about a public school. 
The uh, competency rating is rated at a solid A. Now, there are A-plus private schools in the state, uh, but there are no A-plus public schools in the state. So to be ranking among the top public schools that you could ever go to, it might be the top public school in the whole state. Uh, if you ask my opinion, I would definitely say it is. Uh, but if it's not the top public school in the whole state, it's definitely the top public school in Clark County. And I went there. So I can actually tell you with some honest truth that it is a great school to go to. So if you're interested in knowing some of those neighborhoods that are around it, definitely comment down below or check out our links in the description where you can have access to a consultation with me. Uh, definitely leave, leave a like and a subscribe if this is some more content that you want to learn more about because there's an entire playlist that we're going to have dedicated to living in Henderson, Nevada. I'm going to thank you for watching and you have a great day.